barf up.
Hello? Hello? Honey, your sister has to learn, like, about spices. <laughs> like, they're, they're not, they don't have calories. If your mom counts that, I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Hi. No, she knows, she just has to make the food for your mom. But, like, your mom could be like, Cayenne pepper isn't a spice, or it isn't a calorie. Cumin isn't a calorie. I think I put salt on my food. Whatever. Welcome. If you're new to the stream, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. My name's Kat. I'm a VTuber, variety streamer, a uh, little guy living in your computer, and I'm wearing a hat, and that means today we're going to be thematic. But first, I have a few things to talk about. First of all, this is an 18 plus stream, and if you're under the age of 18, you can't be here. So you got you have to leave. Like she knows how to cook, but her diet is just so joy. That's a fucking diet, dude. Like, I don't want to be like. <coughs> That guy. Diets suck shit. And they don't have- <coughs> Well, they all suck shit. Fundamentally. But if not seasoning your food is the only thing keeping it lifeless, like, that's not even a- A problem. <laughs> Diets are a conspiracy pushed by big food. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't want to talk about diets. We are, wait, I said 18 plus, yes, yes, um, be nice in the chat, don't be a fucking bonehead, or I'll get you, um, and that's pretty much it, if you want to, if you want e funny emotes, you can subscribe, if you want to... Make it so that I can make more emotes for this stream. You can subscribe. If you want to give me a funny dollar, you can also give me a dollar. Sorry, point is you make tasty food now. Oh. You can join our Discord. We have a nice little community there. You can get updates when I go live. Uh, the link is actually right there in chat. But if you ever need it, you can type exclamation point Discord and it will show up for you. I also have a Twitter. Um, you can follow me at at the back hat, same, same name, and I think that's all I gotta say. Um, yeah, so today, as we do every month ish, we look into the computer cabinet of yore and fish out a title that I played a lot as a child. And this one is kind of weird, because it, I don't think it was made for kids, but it's not not made for kids in the way that you would think. Also, I need to adjust my blink sensitivity. Please hold. Jesus. There we go. Um, this one isn't for, was not for kids, but it's not like not for kids in a um, um, like a, 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 a sex way. It's not for kids in the sense that the, the content is not interesting for children. The hell is gay strength? Gay strength is for if you have movable pupils. Like, if your pupils are being tracked by your face, by like your camera, and you your model has pupils that move, but mine doesn't. So... It's not a relevant setting. <laughs> why, why are you doing this? 
Please, I just want things to go nice. Nice. Me. Um. So, this game is about hunting. My dad hunts. And. Um. Like, I've, I've always been exposed to the hunting sort of lifestyle. Um. In fact, in my area, the day after, or the Monday after Thanksgiving, we'd get off because it was the first day of uh, deer season, and most people would skip anyway. So, yeah. My dad would hunt to um, feed the family when we had, there was a period where my mom was trying to find work, and, um, my dad was basically getting a lot of meat for the freezer. Um, so yeah. I think this game was actually for him, but I played it a lot more than he did. So let me boot up the old copy. One moment. There she is. I will now change scenes. I will turn this music off. Wow, holy shit! Okay, that has to turn down. That's gotta be turned down, holy crap. Gonna bring that to like a 65. Okay. All right. So this game is made by Magellan, which I thought was just like a just a regular brand, but apparently they make uh, global positioning systems. So. Oh yeah, boy. We're gonna turn that the fuck down. God. Be quieter. Oh, it's the routing. Did that not turn down at all? Jesus Christ. How about... Whoa. I'm scared. All these blips sound the same. It's off. Uh, okay. So you gotta make a new player. Oh my god. Hey! It reset the- Okay. That good? That good? Okay. <laughs> let's let's go. Game overview. The object of the game is to go hunting. To hunt, you will need to buy the equipment you need on the hunt. I would say buy less th of this you game has a mind of its own and more of this game was not made very well. The shooting gallery, or by going into the tips den in the hunting tips lodge and learn about hunting, shooting, and hunter education. Be sure to go to the tips den in the lodge and find your hunter education token. Visit the fitness room to get your fitness token. When you think you have enough bucks to get the equipment you need, go to the sports shop. By the way, you must pick a partner to hunt with, or one will be picked for you. But choose well. Listen to the advice of your hunting partners. Hunt legally and be safe. Okay. Yeah, if you don't get that hunter education token, um, you get in trouble. Because this game enforces the rules. <laughs> There are rules. So, let's go to the- um, turn this down some. Okay. At least in my ears. Let's go to the lodge first, because this is just click around stuff. 
And who is this Bob Ross ass hunting tutorial man? Oh, there are plenty of those. Look. Dude, hey man, glad you're here. I'm Mr. Fitness. Hi, Mr. Exercising Fitness. Exercising is the best thing for you. I mean, hey, when you hunt, you often walk a lot, right? You climb hills and you spend a lot yeah. of time in colder weather. Well, yeah. if you exercise and you're in good physical shape, you'll be able to do all those things a whole lot wow. better. Hey, if you're not in good shape, you may end up being rescued by the sheriff. Both here <gasps> and, I mean, in real life, too. In the game, you should come here regularly. In real life, keeping fit should be a lifetime goal. Okay. That, yeah, I got my fitness token by walking into this building. Let me get my education token. Memories Whoa. of great times spent outdoors can be enhanced through collecting fine wildlife art. Original Creations, a gallery owned and operated by Gary and Dan Crazen, can provide... Somebody call this phone number. No, don't call it. ...to any home. If you are interested in learning more about their exquisite work, contact them at the address shown. Dolphins. Okay. Welcome to Outdoor Life Radio on the hunting game. Click on any of the areas for valuable tips and techniques, as well as your safety in the field. Have a great day outdoors. Let's learn about muzzleloaders. <laughs> I used to think muzzleloader was a funny Howdy, word. Howdy, partner. I'm Hi. Big Thunder, and I'm here to tell you all about Oh my god, your name is not Big Thunder. Use only propellants designed for use in muzzleloading firearms when shooting a muzzleloader. If in doubt, consult an expert before shooting. Alright, I got a dollar for listening to that. Uh, shotgun. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. <laughs> Hi, Professor Gunn. His name is Big Thunder, hun. Putting the wrong gauge shell into the gun can plug the barrel. Then when you fire the proper gauge shell, the gun can explode. Cool! Uh, shotgun shells are normally color-coded by gauge for safety. Never put a yellow shotgun shell in a 12-gauge shotgun. Or you'll fucking blow up. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Hi, Professor you Gunn. carry only the ammunition that is meant to fire in your rifle. The caliber is stamped on the rifle barrel by Browning and on the head of the cartridge case by Federal Cartridge Company. Check the head stamp on the cartridge and caliber stamp on the barrel. Make sure they match. Make sure they match. Hi, I'm Missy Miss. For safety, Missy always Miss? carry a good quality flashlight and extra batteries. In case you need to find your way out of the woods after dark. Be sure to replace weak batteries in your equipment before you leave to go hunting. Always carry extra batteries, your flashlight, and your Magellan Magellan GPS satellite navigator. I miss girl. Um, so yeah, this is like hunting safety stuff, not stuff that applies to the game. <laughs> but we do have to learn it to get our little token. And we turn on TV. four rules. If you decide to shoot or hunt, live by these rules and you will never injure anyone. You heard that? Live by these rules and you'll never injure anyone. Always point the muzzle in a safe direction, like at an animal. <laughs> Keep your finger outside the trigger guard until your sights are on the target and you are ready to fire. Be sure of your target and what is behind it, Dick Cheney. Never shoot a flat, hard surface or the surface of water. But there might be a duck in there! Damn it. Hello there, I'm Jay Archer, here to give you a few points Jay about Archer. the wonderful sport of archery. The peep sight is mounted in the string of your bow in a position that you can look through it when you're at full draw. Each pin is sighted for a given distance. Here, the top Saunders T-dot sight pin is set for 10 yards, the second pin for 20, the third is set for 30, and the bottom pin for 40. Why are you Australian? Center the T-dot pin in the peep as you see it. Put the T-dot where you want the arrow to I mean, be, like, and release the string. Just seems like a weird pull. Uh, heritage and ethics. Game animals are often found on private lands. Ask permission before hunting. 
and respect the landowner's wishes whether he tells you it's okay to hunt. I'm assuming they mean a farm because it's like illegal to discharge a, a weapon within like a hundred feet of a place of residence. Like people can have property that isn't residential, but don't go near people's houses and shoot. Hunting can take you to some of the most beautiful. This is the sheriff. He puts you in jail if you break the rules. You must be prepared. Have a and if you don't have money to pay your fines, you you lose. Like the game no is over, and you like your file your is the deleted. The GPS can give you the confidence you need to find your way around in the wilderness if you practice with it and know how it works. Yeah. Your file, like, your game is over. You get a game over, and the game is over. Wait, I need my, my token. Memories oh, fuck you. Times. Uh, where do I get the token? I don't have to... Hi there, I am Latinius Thurman. Welcome to my wildlife museum. Here, Can you get the rag out of your mouth, you please. Counter on your hunting adventure. You must be able to identify them in order to be legal and be a wildlife management tool for us, not an outdoor criminal. Click on the animals on each wall and learn about the animals. Well, I guess we're learning about animals right now. Hope you like listening to this guy. With the short wings on stocky body, on the stocky. spots on the front of the eyes makes this an easy duck to identify when hunting. You think this guy likes cola in Fortnite? The hen golden eye is the same shape and size as the drake. Look at the shape very Feet are popping pussy like on the blue bill. Like their pupils oh, and popcorn. Good spin they animation. Yeah. Yeah. The hen canvas back has the long bill on the slope forehead. But the colors are faded. This helps camouflage her in the weeds while nesting. Ooh, Ooh. the canvas back, the king of ducks. Notice king, the, the sloping king. forehead and long bluish gray bill with the reddish head. On the almost white body, the wings look white or grayish with different light hitting them. Ah, the drake green. Ach, my Lieben! With the small size on the green stripe to the eyes. Ooh, this man loved his ducks. Hugh but Neutron found a kindred careful, spirit. The wing markings are like the pintail. The hen redhead looks like the drake in shape and size, but the colors are not as bright. Again, for the nesting. Notice the wing markings on all the ducks and use them to help you identify them when... This one almost looks identical to the, m the male. Anyway, that's a different... Okay, that would explain Again, it. The hen green wing teal... Is a drab brown color for camouflage while nesting. The small size of the duck should make them easy to Schmo. identify, but the wings look like the pintail. So look close. Ah, oh, get this boy a pop filter. The redhead Drake has the red head on bluish gray bill. I'm convinced, like all of the voice actors for this game, were like pulled in from the street. The redhead does not have the long sloping forehead. Okay, if I'm like. 40 meters away with a gun. How on earth am I gonna see a sloping forehead or not? I'm gonna look for colors. The hen vision is a more drab color than the drake. Like the hens of all the species of ducks in the hunting game. Look for the white shoulder patch on the shape to tell the hen vision. Ah, the drake vision. Sometimes wow. called the bald pate because of the white cap on the top of the head. The white cap, the green head, on the white patch on the shoulder makes him easy to tell before you shoot. Yeah. Yeah. A beautiful duck. The drake pintail has the brown head with the white stripes on the neck. 
Do you think if I like go to the mu this museum, there's like a button I can hold to make them spin? Shiny speculum. Notice the blue bill. Uh huh. The hen pintail is the drab brown color for camouflage. What if this isn't part of the hunter education? The blue bill, the pointy tail, on the shiny green speculum like the drake. Ah, a magnificent bird. The male mallet is called the drake. Notice the green head on the color of the bill. On the uh, you missed... The Hi, Emily. The also, you missed... Um, right we're getting our hunter education right now because if we shoot without getting proof that we went to class, uh, we get in trouble a lot. The head mallet is drab brown color, so so now I'm clicking on all these ducks to watch them spin and listen to a German guy talk. orange bill and feet on the blue speculum on the wings. Ah, yeah. The Drake Wood Duck has very bright colors on the top knot is unmachined. There's a lot you have to do in this game before you can actually start hunting. You can tell this duck when hunting. Oh yeah, in honor of the true hunting spirit, I got a, a brewski to crack. It's actually sparkling water. But I thought we'd enjoy the ambiance. Like the other ducks, the hen wood duck is bad for nesting, but meet the top knot on the white rings around the eyes, she is unmistakable. Oh, God, geese. The male Canada goose is called the gander. The ah. white chin strap on the black head with the gray color makes him unmistakable. Ah, uh, see? I am... The, the audio is a... A little quiet now, but if you can't do it, um, I can see what I can do. How's that? The music is way louder than the voices. Yeah, I can't, um... I can't do anything about that. I can't tell the difference between the male and the female goose. The female Canada goose is colored just like the male. For this How's reason, that? there are no restrictions on which sex you can shoot when hunting. Oh, that would probably be why I couldn't tell them apart. The male snow goose is the gander. He is white with the black tips on the wings. The Very voices are better now though, okay. identify when hunting. The female snow goose looks just like the male, white with the black wing tips. Black wing tits. Got it. Turkey! The hen wild turkey is more drably colored than Let's the spin. tom. She doesn't fluff up and show off like the tom, and she doesn't have the beard. Whoa! Hang on. Amazing. The male wild turkey is called the tom. He is dark on color and has the beard coming from the upper breast. You must be able to That's identify a the tom from the Why hen when hunting. That? Holy, oh my god. Ah, the male white tail. I think we know where the budget went. Buck. See how the antlers sweep forward with the tines coming up from the main beam? He has the large tail with the bottom side. This looks like a shooting dummy. He raises the tail to signal danger to the other deers in the area. But you. The doe white tail deer has the same large tail, but does not have the antlers. You can shoot the female on some hunts, but read the hunting regulations. See, the funny thing is, like, in the, in the duck shooting segments, the ducks are farther away, so I don't know why they spend so much effort on that. Yeah, the male mule deer is the I've buck. never seen a mule deer. See how the antlers go up on fork, not forward like the white tail. 
und der Mule Deer has the small white tail mit der black tip. The doe Mule Deer doesn't have the antlers, but she has the same small white tail. It's just a Kelby. Yeah, it does look like a Kelby. I don't. I doubt that it's um invincible though. Elk. <laughs> the horniest of all animals. Oh, the bull elk. See how the antlers sweep back and up. Notice the tan color with a lighter color rump patch on very So when you go to pick up the duck IRL, you'll see what you got. That That's elk thinking it's a deer true. Is a fool. If we go duck hunting, we have to get a dog also. Ah, the cow elk looks just <laughs> like, like we need the one. <laughs> but she does not have the antlers on the head. Hooray! Oh, hello. Thanks for including me in the hunting partners you can choose from. I there can. are a lot of young girls and boys out there who would love the chance to learn to hunt and shoot. They're afraid to ask anyone to take them. If you start taking them and teaching them, you can make the hunting game last forever. It can last forever. Did you hear that? Ducks Unlimited raises millions of dollars each year to protect and conserve wetlands. I can't, well, I can read this, but, um, it's very, the paragraph is very consolidated, and my eyes don't like it. She just that ghost girl from Pokemon XY. <laughs> Organizations such as Ducks Unlimited are one of the keys to the future of conservation in North America. Thanks, Ducks Unlimited. Anyone concerned with wildlife conservation should join one or more of the conservation organizations, such as Ducks Unlimited. I wonder if I should join Ducks Unlimited. That's a thick book. Visit the Ducks Unlimited website for information on how you can become involved. Hang on. Ducks.org, you say? It's still there. They want to know my location. Yeah, it's still there. Pretty modern looking here. It, uh, got hunting, dog training, shooting. I'm showing it, see? It's just kind of funky because, hang on. I know. Now you can see my tabs, and I don't want you to see my tabs. There. Uh oh, is that our fanfic? No. Oh no, there's. <laughs> I don't want you to see my tabs! <laughs> Uh, we got wetlands and water. Get involved. Free gift when I join. I get an, an adventure backpack. French dip. Wow. <laughs> Traditional French dip sandwich consists of thinly sliced beef, a sturdy roll, and a dipping sauce made from stock or broth. When substituting duck for beef in this time-honored recipe, I much prefer the meat cooked rare to medium rare, since it will be dunked in the hot stock just before serving, and dipped again between bites. Cool. They got research. They got a magazine. They got films. They got podcast. They got... Can, 
Can you do that? Do what? Rare duck? Duck is typically served rare. Or on the medium side. The dangerous poultry is more chicken to turkey than duck. Uh, duck is typically... What is it? Like, I think ostrich can be cooked rare, too. But yeah, it's mostly chicken and turkey. Are we satisfied? <laughs> Are we satisfied with ducks unlimited dot or ducks dot org? <laughs> I'm putting her away now. I mean, you can technically eat anything raw. It doesn't mean it's a good idea, though. Oh, yeah. Ducks Unlimited raises millions of dollars each year to protect the website seems very limited on ir or ironically enough. I mean, there is other stuff in it. I just didn't feel like dog training tips. Don't be a problem for owners of private lands. Don't hunt on other people's fucking property. This was actually like a problem where I grew up. Also, people with ATVs would go through like our woods and stuff. Don't do that. Don't be a problem. <gasps> Look into the mirror. How do you measure up? Is your image that of a safe, responsible hunter? I don't know. What do you see? It's what they call you. Where's my token? I want my token. Please, I'm sorry. Fuck, did I actually click on that? The you go in the hunting game, the more recipes I can give you. I hope you go hunting again soon. I need some more meat for the freezer. Uh, <laughs> check out the... Uh, this is this is what the sorry game is. Them with their problem. Uh, the health spa is just. Hey, even simple exercise can improve your overall health. Like many studies show that, like walking lowers blood pressure and cholesterol levels and helps control diabetes. Great. Can I have my token? No, it's okay. He did say something different this time, so I don't. I thought it was gonna be like a spa. What for? For hunters? No. Whoa. Your image as a safe hunter is a must if you want to make the game last forever. Think safe, be safe, and be sure to enroll in a hunter. <laughs> this is a gym. I want a fancy bath. If you're gonna call it a spa. All the time. Sorry, move the mic away from me now. You must think safety all the time. Why is it showing me After different stuff? Your education, always be safe. When hunting, always act as if someone were watching you. Be a positive example of the sport. Obey all the laws. Some of this stuff reads is very cultist. Not gonna. Oh no, it totally does. Look into the mirror. Okay. Where where is my token? You are required to take hunter education before you. Oh, I have to do it multiple game. times. To take the class in real life. Call your state or provincial conservation department for information. No. Here's your hunter ed token. Yippee! Get me the hell out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna do it in real life. Um, so here's the skinny. We have how many dollars? Thirteen. We gotta get some. Hi there. Going hunting? Let's get you outfitted properly. Click on any item to buy it. If you want a description of an item, right click on it. Cool. Good luck. And what do we want to kill? And legal. 
We have lots of options. We have duckies, cute little duckies, um, deer, turkey, elk, and mule deer. Depending on what we pick is going to determine what we buy, because I think we only have enough money for enough stuff for one target. So who do we want to murder? Mule deer? Okay. Those Kelby horns. Well, to get a deer, I need a license. Make sure to get the right licenses and permits. And you better look at the regulations before you start hunting. They're attached to your license. You'll need this permit to hunt mule deer. Okay. Remember to be sure of your target and know how to identify deer species. Those areas are mule deer only. Okay. Good luck and keep it I'm safe to go to the and directory. Legal. Okay. We got... I think we need clothes. Browning makes boots for any outdoor need. Here are just a few of them. Okay. One boot, please. Everything costs a dollar. For cold weather, the brown and parker will keep you warm. And for warm weather, a brown and shirt will do. Um, I'm sensing some brand loyalty here. I'll take the cold weather. That's when you go deer hunting. The real tree patterns are the only ones I use and recommend. I have real tree pattern clothing for warm weather, cold weather, and snow conditions. Why the fuck did you try to sell me that other shit then? Uh, I'll get the camo. Okay. I like how it just shows my stuff. Um. So what else? We need a smell. Remember, if you don't have the right scent, chances are you won't see the biggest bucks and bulls, both in this game and in real life. Uh, well, I don't want to smell like a fox, I don't think. Oh, God. I hate, I hate listening to all of this, or, like, looking all at this stuff. Loman makes the rut stuff for elk. It's great if you want to get that big bull. Okay, that's for elk. Buck dope from Loman is a scent to use when white-tailed deer bucks are on the prowl, looking for a fight, or a girlfriend. Okay. Mule deer will respond to Loman's buckbuster scent. You must get some if you hope to bag the biggest bucks in this game or in the real world of hunting. I guess I'll take the buck buster too. Uh, let's see. Don't need this boy. Or a girlfriend. Wink. Why does my zoom button not work? That's a bummer. It's okay. I don't need it today. That's fine. It's like, it's like temperamental, you know? Um, do I need a call? What accessories can it, a if knife? If you're not prepared with a knife and sharpener, animals you take while hunting will go bad, both here and in the real world of hunting. Oh, um, I guess I'll get a knife. The Kodiak FDT by Browning is a must-have tool for serious big game hunters. Corrosion resistant and sturdy, it combines all the tools needed for those tough field dressing jobs. Sounds good enough for me. Thompson Center Arms markets a line of telescope sights for rifles, pistols, and muzzle loaders. Oh. Uh. I don't know if I need that. I don't know what gun I have. I don't have a gun. Um, should get a call. Loman duck calls are simply the best. They work. They work. To bag the biggest bull in the game, what? you must have a Loman elk call and use it. This looks like a bathing suit that you peeled off yourself. I'm trying to replace this battery in the car fob and it's kid proof. Does that mean it's you proof too? Oh no. 
A good deer call, like these Loman calls, can help you outsmart the smartest old buck in the woods. Doe bleat. Loman's doe bleat call imitates the sound of a doe bleeding. Other deer come to investigate. Loman's Khmer deer makes the soft pleading noises made by deer as they communicate with each other. A good grunt call to imitate a buck and attract other bucks for a fight. I don't know which one would be better. I feel like I want to be a lady. Okay, we got the call. A GPS. I wouldn't want to trust my life on equipment I don't trust. Neither do you. When you go into the woods here or in the real world, trust only a Magellan GPS satellite navigator. They made this game also. Okay, time for gun. If you get a shotgun, Browning has a wide range of models and gauges to choose from. What is the gun that I should use on All deer? All the rifles I have here are 50 caliber for this game. But if you hunt in real life, you can get Thompson Center muzzle loading firearms in other calibers and models. Browning quality and accuracy are the best on the market. Which one do you want? But I don't know what is the best for... Okay. I will take the gold hunter, sir. And I will buy some ammo. I only sell federal ammunition. Federal shotgun shells are reliable and very consistent. Well, this shows birds. So, need a different gun. Wait, I'm gonna look at the ammo first and see. Look at the picture on the. Oh, I've fuck. got a fine selection of federal rifle ammo for the animals you'll hunt in this game. Both of these are great for hunting big game with a muzzle loader. What the fuck? Uh, you know what? I'll just get. I'll get a rifle. Uh, that sounds good. Damn, this is way more complicated than I thought it would be. I just don't remember. Oh, Jesus. What, what gun do I have? What does this take? Oh, no, this is an education game. The 280 Remington cartridge, as manufactured by Federal, is an excellent choice for mule deer or whitetail in this game. With the 140 grain trophy bonded bear claw bullet, this is a great choice for deer at long range. It'll work well on elk, too, but bullets heavier than 140 grains are better for the bigger bodied elk. Make sure you buy the Browning A Bolt 2 and 280 Remington, or they won't fit your gun. Yay, I did buy that! Uh. A dog. Enjoy the dogs. I think this one looks the best, like, the, looks the least creepy. Woof. Woof. Alright. Good luck, and keep it safe and legal. We just got a call down at the station. All your guns and ammo have been stolen. You should have bought a safe to protect your investment. With people like Dirk running around, anything can happen. What? <laughs> I don't have any more money. Guess we have to earn some. I can't go back to hunting school. This is a shitty mini game in here to get more money. This gun sucks. I was just robbed. Oh my god, die!
Robbed by who though? The deer? Well, funnily enough, it's funny that you mentioned that because when I was very young, like six, I didn't make any money! Um, when I was like six years old, <laughs> I, uh, our house was broken into. <laughs> and, uh, my dad's gun safe was the target of that. The person did not get into it, but there were fingerprints on it. They tried. I just remember having my fingerprints taken and enjoying that immensely. can't believe someone fucking stole my shit as soon as I bought it. Is this what you came here to see? Out of all the crimes to have in a game where you're handed a gun. <laughs> Buy I don't think there's insurance. I didn't need to buy that fucking dog. I didn't do well enough to get a dollar. They're gonna make me do this level until I do well enough to get a dollar. So I hope you like this song. I can send you back to level one. If I perhaps ended up in jail without any money, that will happen. What would be the fucking lesson there? This is fun. Well, I'm pretty sure I, I'm already not gonna make it. Because my, like, ratio <laughs> is taken into account. I just missed a bunch. Get better, as Dawn would say. Dawn uses motion controls, so... Always buy a firearm on your shopping trip so you can shoot the would-be thief. No! Honey, I can hear you laughing. <laughs> I can hear you laughing at me. Deviation is always different. For duck's sake, uh huh. Christ. This was the part of the game I would play endlessly as a child. <laughs> I was not any better at it. I think if I ever got to level three, it was like, this is edutainment, right? I'm not sure what I'm learning. Street smarts? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Someone's gonna steal your shit. See, this one has like the little red dot to tell me about the deep, like where the bullet's gonna go. That's good. I like that. But it changes every time you do this fucking minigame. If 
I've learned anything so far, it's to buy fucking safe for your guns. Buy a bodyguard for your guns. The pig taunts me. I have one dollar. This is the only way to make money now, because I did education. I will simply stop firing. Fuck off. dream. Why? Where are the shots hitting? It's kind of like angle. For boy, this gun blows. I distinctly remember my father being angry at this game. Aiming back here. Restart the game? No. <laughs> because then I'll have to do all the education shit again. D don't you think that'll take longer? Resetting the game until I get like an actual. Here we go. It will breathe. Shoot the cute little duckies. See, I've already got nine.
Yeah, how will I learn how to do this? 82% wasn't good enough? to listen to him dude hey man glad you're here i'm mr fitness hi mr Exercising fitness is the best thing for you i mean hey when you hunt you often walk a lot right you climb yeah. hills and you spend a lot of time in colder weather yeah well, if you exercise and you're in good physical shape you'll be able to do all those things a whole lot better hey if you're sir it's been an shape, hour you may end up being rescued by the sheriff both yeah. here and i mean in real life too in the game you should come here regularly. In real life, keeping fish should be a lifetime goal. Whatever. Uh, maybe I can game the system. Welcome to Outdoor Life. Howdy, partner. That didn't count. Howdy, partner. I'm Big Thunder. And I'm here to tell you all about His muzzle loading. Big Thunder. Use only propellants designed for use in muzzle loading firearms when shooting a muzzle loader. If in doubt, consult an expert before shooting. Yeah, you have to listen to the whole fucking audio clip Hi, to get your dollar. I'm Missy Misk. For safety, always carry a good quality flashlight and extra batteries in case you need to find your way out of the woods after dark. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Carry only federal shotgun shells in the proper <laughs> gauge for the gun. gun you are using. Putting the wrong gauge shell into the gun can plug the barrel. Then when you fire the proper gauge shell, the gun can explode. Well, we don't want that. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Be sure to carry only the ammunition that is meant to fire in your rifle. The caliber is stamped on the rifle barrel by Browning and on the head of the cartridge case by Federal Cartridge Company. Nice. Awesome. The choke in a shotgun is a constriction in the barrel that controls how fast the pellets spread out when they leave the I barrel. I didn't learn this Common last time. chokes from the one that has the tightest pattern to the one that has the greatest pellet spread are the full choke, the modified choke, and the improved cylinder choke. Oh, there's like multiple Thompson Center arms or dollars state manufacturing and all other experts agree that you should never Hi, Joe. load a muzzle loader directly from a horn or flask. Use a powder measure to avoid a dangerous situation. Sorry, I'm trying to get through the big the thunder parts as fast as he'll let me. Shot. This will help you Thank you. Accuracy, <laughs> as well as putting out any sparks left smoldering in the barrel after a shot. Actually, his name is Big Thunder. Always thoroughly clean a muzzle loader after use. Muzzle loader. This looks like too much can shit for me to deal with. Quickly. I don't ever want to use one of these guns. The of the gun. Fucking powder. Oh my god. Contrary to what some people would have you believe, a muzzle loading rifle is not effective at the same long distances that the modern center file rifles are. Most hunters should limit their shots at big game to 75 yards. 100 yards for very good shooters. That is very That's close. That's the of muzzle loading hunting. You must be a better hunter and get closer to the game. Oh my god. god. GC maxi balls or their breakaway sabots are a better choice for maxi hunting balls. big game. Well, they deliver more killing power. Any of these will work in the hands of a good Barfhead. hunter and shooter. Practice with what you're gonna hunt with and learn to be a better hunter. Are you done? Oh, jeez. Thompson Center's quick start system has made loading their muzzle loaders faster and easier. Rifling's have been removed near the end of the muzzle. There's a good reason we don't use powder and muzzle, muzzle loaders as a society anymore. 
This feature also helps align the Yeah, if you redeem the, the barf head, uh, uh, redeem, there's a 50-50 chance better. as to whether you'll hear Howie or the narrator. Oh. Ooh -wee, it's very important that the projectile is seated firmly Why on the Why couldn't you give me a list? Thompson Center Arms and Mountain State Manufacturing both recommend that you put a line on your ramrod so you can tell when your bullet is firmly seated against a powder charge. Oh, like tamping my espresso. I prefer maxi pads rather than maxi balls on my muscles. Well, if you buy a gun such as a Thompson Center System 1, you'll have the versatility of using anything from their 32 caliber barrel for small game up to the 58 caliber barrel for large and dangerous game. Such as bars. Bars. Howdy, okay, partner. No, we're done. We're I'm done. Being Always carry an appropriate knife for the game you are hunting, and keep it sharp. This Browning folding knife, along with the Loman sharpener shown, will be very valuable once you down your game. A dull knife is useless to a hunter. Why like, legit, solid, do people use muscle loaders as a dick measuring comp? It seems sharp. that way. You should always carry a good set of binoculars when hunting to help you Maybe there's like a game. sportsmanship angle? Never look at anything through the scope on your gun that you don't want to shoot. Yeah, you hear that? Many hunters use telescope sights. With this type of sight, the shooter simply places the crosshairs of the sight at the point they want the bullet to strike. Some, somehow someone had more fun drawing her than the other two. Oh yeah, she's Missy Miss. She's Miss Girl. She looks nice. If you hunt in real life, get advice from an expert on what type of scope is best for the type of hunting you will do. There are two types of scents you can use. Cover scents, such as Loman's Natural Earth, and Attractor scents, such as the elk and deer scents you see here. Both types cover the human scent and help to get animals to come closer. Bathe in dough piss. Hello, my name is Brad Harris of Loman Game Calls. People think that all ducks quack. You're an actual some do, but spokesman. Most don't. Loman makes calls for virtually every species of duck. You have calls for mallard. They quack. Calls for pintail, teal, and widgeon. They quack, you squeak. say. Calls for wood duck. They scream and whistle and calls for diver ducks that purr, grunt, and groan. The Loman duck calls you see here are for the different types of ducks. You will want to buy one for hunting here as well for hunting in the outdoors. I thought all ducks quacked, but okay. I've learned something. Here you see snow goose and Canada goose calls from Loman. A good call, if you know how to use it, will increase your chances for harvesting Her a lot grunt, of goose grunt, huh? both in this game and when you hunt in the real world. When you buy elk calls, you get Loman calls that make the sounds of the mighty bull bugling or the cow mewing and chirping. Both can work well during the rut with the cow calls working good year round. I, I think the part of hunting, besides like, you know, the obvious, that I like the least is like the pretending to be an animal. Loman makes a variety of turkey calls to imitate the yelping and cutting of a hen or the gobbling of a tom. They also make owl calls that will make a tom gobble to give away his location. Deer calls include calls that imitate the rattling of antlers as if two bucks were fighting. Also, all deer snort, all deer bleat, and all deer grunt. Quality Loman deer calls that produce these sounds make bad. They also make a scary easier. screaming noise. Is this Hi, better than watching me comfort. shoot? I'm here to tell you about staying safe and comfortable while hunting. When hunting in cold weather, dress in layers. By doing so, you can remove layers. And they hiss. They do. Add layers when still. This will keep you from perspiring and getting chilled. At least we're learning things. That's true. When hunting where camouflage clothing that is guy. legal, choose a real tree pattern that, that implies that you're you're listening because I'm not. Real tree makes patterns for all types of hunting, from deep woods to marsh, from barren sagebrush to thorny thicket. Real tree, the choice of serious hunters everywhere. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that your sister got hissed at by a deer, and and the dog, obviously.
I have For safety, thought. many jurisdictions require you to wear hunter orange clothing while hunting. Mm -hmm. Browning makes hunter orange clothing for all conditions. From shirts to their excellent 4-in-1 parka system, Browning clothing will keep you warm, safe, and seen. You wear orange because a lot of animals that you hunt. What's the money? Oh, I'm earning money by taking hunter education classes. Hi, I'm Missy Misk. Nope. For safety. When hunting I have to take fowl, this. I have to take these classes anyway. Sick if they but eat the I'm getting money for it. Federal and I can use that money to buy equipment. Shot are both because the last time I bought equipment, very well it was immediately stolen geese. because I didn't buy a gun safe. So you don't now, a shotgun. You point it. Swing through the target. And I get my money back. Keep the gun moving. <laughs> Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Ah, the shit. Federal shotgun shells in the pro Never use a rifle scope to look at an unknown object. It may be a person, and you'll be pointing your rifle directly at them, creating an unsafe situation. Yeah, don't fucking do that. Gun safe is something I didn't actually expect to encounter in a situation. Yeah, well, as soon as my well, shopping trip was over, the sheriff's like, we just got a call at the station. Sure you know what is All your shit's your gone. But I still have my dog. <laughs> when a bullet leaves your barrel, it is affected by gravity. This yes. is why, when aiming at a target, your barrel is pointed slightly up, called the line of bore. Your line of sight to the target is straight. The bullet travels up right. through the line of sight. Then, as gravity takes over, it is pulled back down. social commentary. I mean, my, I had told the story, I think, before you came here. But when I was, like, six, somebody tried to, somebody broke into our house and tried to get in my dad's gun safe. So, that could have happened to me. My dad's house. knowledgeable big game hunters sight their hunting rifles in to strike the target about two and a half to three inches high at 100 yards. With most modern high-powered rifles, this will cause the bullet to strike anywhere from three inches low to three inches high from the muzzle out to near three. Like I, re yards. I respect hunters, I More respect the sport. I, if, as long as you're like providing distance. for your family and whatnot, like we hunted. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Be no. sure to carry only the. Okay. Welcome to Outdoor Life Radio oh, on the Hunting Game. Okie doke. Read these four rules. This is the game warden. If you decide to shoot or hunt, live by these rules and you will never injure anyone. Remember that. You are required to take hunter education before you hunt in this game. To take the class in real life, call your state or provincial conservation department for information. Here's your hunter ed token. Yippee! I'm gonna see how many more dollars I can get though. Two common sighting systems used on both modern rifles and muzzle loading rifles are the open sight, where the shooter aligns the front and the rear sight as shown here, then places the point where you can't he injure anyway if your guns get stuck. The, the second is the aperture or peep sight, where the front sight is aligned in the center of the aperture, and the target is placed on top of the front sight. There is a third system which you will learn about as we discuss the option. Maybe this will help with your duck hunting. Well, that's the thing, is that sometimes the gun would have a sight like that, and then sometimes the sight would be, like, hidden. Hi, I'm Professor Gunn. Hi, Professor Make sure Gunn. the barrel of any firearm has no foreign material in it before you shoot. A plugged barrel can cause a gun to explode and injure or kill the shooter and or bystanders. Lovely. Store firearms and ammunition in separate and locked containers in. so children and irresponsible adults cannot get to them. A good gun safe is an investment in safety for your family and it prevents the theft of valuable possessions. Fort Knox safes are attractive as well as usable and there's not a higher quality or better Oh well safe they better be market. fucking attractive. A clean gun is a safe gun. Make sure to keep all guns clean and in good operating condition. This will preserve the value and extend the usable life of a firearm. 
Ask an existing shooter to show you how to best care for your guns. You should always wear eye and ear protection when shooting. Yes, you should. When hunting, it pays to shoot from the steadiest possible position. As a rule, the closer to the ground you are, the more accurately you can place your shots. Sitting is more stable than standing, and prone is more stable than sitting. If available, use a tree, stump, or other object to rest the forend of your rifle on, but remember to pad the rest with a jacket, pack, or some other soft cushioning material. Cool. Whether you hunt with a bow, rifle, or muzzle loader, the best area to shoot a big game animal is in the heart-lung area of the chest. The best spot to aim at with a bow is highlighted in red. The whole kill zone area is in yellow. No matter what you're using, aim at the best spot, just behind the front leg, and always wait till the animal stops and you can see the kill zone clearly, as in image one. You mean that you have to... You should specify that you have to envision it. <laughs> Never take a shot unless you are sure you can hit the animal in the right spot. There is no excuse for wounding and losing an animal. Lose it! You're killing it! To prepare the animals you shoot for the table... I wonder if I can use this in Red out, Dead. Oh, the, the stuff about kill zones? The definitely. Off, the skin. Keep the meat cool, clean, and dry. Use clean game bags. With game birds, you can pluck them instead of removing the skin. There's no excuse for not shooting the ca uh, No, I know. Should be humane about it. When hunting ducks in this Jesus game, Christ. you can make these sounds by clicking on the various calls. To learn how and when to use these calls when you go afield for real, get the instructional audio and video taste from Loman when you get your Loman duck call. You always aim for the head. Well, that doesn't always work. Take it from me, Brad Harris. The instructional taste from Thanks, Loman Brad. You when and where to use the different sounds um, you can make with Loman You can calls live through shots at that. Successful hunter in real life. The when you aim elk for the heart and lungs, first area. of all, they're going to bleed out. And, and second of all, calls, like, you go afield for real. their lungs are collapsed. The <laughs> they're going to die. You can get the from Loman when you buy your elk Quickly. calls. Is a heart lung shot really more humane? I don't know. I don't know. These calls are made by Loman Deer Calls. All these will get the attention of deer. We just talked Review about the this, Loman man. Review the video and audio tapes to learn when and where to use each call when you're actually deer hunting. I think I have enough money. I'd like to shoot something before I have to go to bed. <clears throat> I'm $51. <laughs> And everything costs one dollar. Browning makes boots for warm weather, cold weather, yeah, I and know. For cold weather, the Brown and Parker will keep safe. I'll sell you one of each so you're ready for anything. And if I'm more offended by the occasional typographical errors than anything else here. Safe, safe, safe. In this game, you must I'll buy get the blue it. one. Sure. I wanted a rifle. A shotgun, Brown and quality and accuracy are the best. Able to ammo. I only sell. If you hunt in real life, fa and licenses. I need a mule sure deer. Get the right license. Deer license. Since I got Remember, this deer piss. Uh, GPS. I carry only. See, I don't even know why they bother with the models if. They are all a dollar. A good Game call. call. Along with I want to sound like a sexy, sexy elk. deer. A good deer call like these Loman. Oh, I got this deer piss. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I bought. Got accessorize. I have four models of Thompson center scopes to choose from. The Hawk and Hunter series fixed four power telescope side is fairly good for hunting in close cover or medium range shots in the game, and in real life. The Hawk and Hunter series 3 power to 9 power variable telescope sight is good for hunting in close cover when used in the lower magnifications, or for medium and longer range shots in the game. Uh, okay. Click on a scope. Wow! 
I think that's everything. I got a dog. And I think that's all I'll need for deer hunting. Good luck and keep it safe and legal. This game is self-aware and wants you to step outside if you're gonna get uppity, partner. Oh, by the way, let's pick a partner. I'm going right hunting. now. Want to come along? Do we want Uncle Bill? Or do we want Skinny Jim? Dirk sucks. He stole my shit. I trust Uncle Bill. I didn't get robbed, no, because I bought a safe. Uh, let's go after our mule deer. For real, yeah. Alright, whoa! Alright, let's look at our license. Zone archery only! Fuck's I sake. Think you just scared them. I have three different models of browning bows. They have many more, said you choose to hunt in real life. Time to get to zone three. Did you see the second one was a muscle loader zone? <laughs> the boss class browning afterburner is a very fast shooting, very high quality bow. Excellent for big game hunting or hunter style competitions on targets. Yeah, I'll take that. And easy There are many accessories to help make your bow shoot quieter. Here are a few. Other accessories make it more comfortable and easier to shoot your bow. Sure. Um. Uh, take the sight pins. Buy each of the items here and you'll have six arrows to bow hunt with in the game. All of them? That sucks. And I only get six. Okay. It's a good thing I have so much have money. And be safe. Okay, let's go back. Archery only, 6.45 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. Okay, so we have to wait now. Let me put on my buck buster. <laughs> and we wait. If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. Wow. Nature is beautiful. I think you just scared that one off. I don't fucking care, dude. That's a... Well, I can shoot any sex. I have to be good. I have to wait. You need a Saunders pack tab to protect your fingers when you shoot. Shut up. It can help you shoot better. You need a Saunders pack tab to protect your fingers when you Shut shoot. up. It can help you shoot better. You need a Saunders pack tab to protect your fingers I'll when you shoot. I'll fucking kill you. Shut your mouth. It can help you shoot better. Stop moving. If you hold real- <laughs> I'm sorry, that was my fault. If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. <laughs> you need a Saunders pack tab to protect your fingers when you shoot. It can help you shoot better.
Oh, there she goes. No, get out of the way of the bush. Come on. Come on. You need a Saunders pack tab to protect your fingers when you shoot. It can help you shoot better. I need a good guess. Saunders, whatever the fuck. Let's go. What is it? This shit? Anybody else? I got all that. Good luck and keep it safe and legal. Thanks. I'm gonna change partners soon. Can't wait. We're gonna wait till 6:45. Don't you get tempted? Better stay there for 25 more minutes. Ah. No! Oh well, I can shoot now. I think you just scared that one off. I didn't... I didn't even move. I think you just scared that one off. Oh. I think you just scared that one off. I wonder if real hunting is like this. If you hold Shh. real st I tried. I think Uncle Bill's gonna get it. If he isn't careful. It can look like an accident. I think you Oh, shut up. If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. I'm actually like not moving. Why? Can I be told like the wind speed or some shit? Like, it's all going left, so I guess I'll just aim right. I think you just scared that one off. Fucking Peppy Le Pew ass, dear. Until the head's down to get ready to shoot. Thanks. Uh, uh. 
I think you just scared that one off. If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. I'm... Don't move. Wait till the head's down to get ready to shoot. Stop telling me things. Do you ever think that you're the one scaring them off, Uncle Bill? Please stop moving. Put your head down like Uncle Bill says. If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. I'm not moving. The very biggest bucks will only show up in range if you do everything right, have the right equipment, calls, scents, and everything. Don't move. Wait till the head's down to get ready to shoot. Stop talking to me, man. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. What are you talking about? If you hold real Die! Still, you won't scare them as much. I should have done turkey. Yeah, you want you want that? Better fucking eat. Your head down and eat the grass. I think you just shut up. If you hold Why? Okay. We're at 2 p.m. I have five more fake hours. I should have done turkey. Okay. I'm just gonna sit back. I'm not gonna touch it.
If you hold real still, you won't scare them as much. Come on, man. Don't move. Wait till the head's down to get ready to shoot. It would be helpful if they did that, Uncle Bill. But they aren't interested. They aren't interested in me or my bleats or my piss. We're shooting turkey. Did you try showing them your gun safe? You're right. I should have tried that license for turkey. Good luck and keep it Good safe luck. and legal. You should have gone with Dirk the Jerk. Let's go hunting. I'm gonna go I'm with Skinny Jim. Pick me. Sick of his shit. Wait, I forgot calls. I just wanna check the license. Um, I can use whatever the hell I want. You nope. Uh, sword shot. Calls. Turkey, turkey, turkey. The Click on the Loman. Easy to use. The purr system by Loman will help you attract those wary gobblers. Sure. A good caller with a Loman diaphragm turkey call can call in the wisest old Tom. It's you. I'll take them all. Sure. Have a great hunt and be safe. Oh wait, you know what? Sorry, I didn't actually mean to like be a tease. I need scent cover, not f fox piss or whatever. Have a great hunt and be safe. One hundred percent pure. You need to get a good shotgun before you hunt turkeys. Thank you. And this one has the word gold in it. Good luck and keep it safe Oops, and legal. I meant to go to the directory. Uh, ammo. This one has a picture of a turkey on it. Federal's tungsten shot in size BB is an excellent choice for the serious goose hunter. We nope. Have a great hunt and. I can start at 6:45. You have anything to say, Skinny Jim? Anything to say about my gun or the Thunderdome? <laughs> yeah, I thought not. Oh, it's almost turkey time. It's turkey time! Here, turkey, turkey. I kind of just want to hear what they all sound like. Gonna stop. <laughs> I 
cool. Fuck. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm a turkey. <laughs> See, Skinny Jim isn't, like, criticizing me. And I have to appreciate that. Gonna stop. All right. <laughs> Got it. Fuck making him s fuck waiting. Wow, I got one! Let's see. I can only get. Is this zone two? Or am I still in zone one? I think I'm zone two. 5.45. Wait. It's six o'clock. Fuck waiting. Listen. Yeah, I don't really have an excuse. <laughs> Can't load more than three. Them's just the rules. Hey, turkeys. Turkey, turkey. There's a turkey. Uh, I don't know the zone. Regardless, I can't take that. So, ten. Tricky. Damn, he saw me move like, you have to move very slowly. No, get the get the ladies out of here. <laughs> oh my God. Did you shoot Skinny Jim or something? Guy hasn't said a word. I won't tell if you won't. <gasps> no! Don't move. Wait until you can see his head clearly, and make sure he's in shotgun range before you shoot. No, don't go away. Come 
Come on, Mr. Shirky. He's alive. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop calling. <laughs> Get out of here. I have to stop. Six fifteen. <laughs> Too many girls. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Got him. Fuck yeah. Foggy bottom. Tom three. Six fifteen to six forty five PM. Tom only. Of course. Yippee! Oh Jesus Christ! Thank you. That's what I have after a night of Taco Bell boggy bottom. You, you scared it away. I think you scared that one off. Don't move. Wait till Ted is down. Taco Bell doesn't. I know. <laughs> I know that's the common joke. Taco Bell does not affect my stomach in any way. Which is strange. I mean, I don't, I don't eat this. I don't use the sauces though. That was a turkey, but I think it was a hen, so I don't care. You're a hen, so I don't care. Move along. It says I can take two, but I'm not going to. <gasps> oh, this is all zone one. Uh-oh. I don't think I did anything illegal. <gasps> you didn't do your part in wildlife conservation. You thought somebody else would take care of it and you could reap the rewards. Now all hunting units have been closed. If you could only turn back time, maybe you would visit the Heritage Room and learn about wildlife conservation organizations such as Ducks Unlimited so you could do your part. I shot too many You say tutorial time, fans? When you get a game hey, over, man, glad you're here. you lose Honest everything. Exercising you lose your progress. You, you lose run, your money. You, walk a lot, right? you, you lose and you spend a lot of time in colder weather. everything. Well, if you exercise, 
and you're in good physical shape, you'll be able to do all those things a whole lot better. Hey, and that means we have to listen shape, to all of this end up being rescued all by the over well, here again. In real life, too. In the game, you should come here regularly. In real life, keeping fit should be a lifetime goal. And to think, after I bagged those turkeys, I was going to take you to the kitchen and get some if recipes. If you get out there and shoot some game, I'd give you some good recipes. If I, if I handed her a turkey, she'd give me a recipe, a real-world recipe for turkey. But I don't have the them because I shot too many turkeys. Game, the more recipes I can give you. I hope you go hunting again soon. I need some more meat for the freezer. I need some more meat for the freezer. Game animals are often found on private land. Ask permission before hunting and respect the land. I want to know what the recipes are like in this game. You it's okay to hunt or not. I've never seen a game scold and browbeat someone so bad before. I mean, hunting safety is Hello important. There. I'm Jay Archer, here to give you a few pointers about the wonderful sport. Cat, what did you do? I left you alone with Jim to get some food and you game over. Um, well, about that, I caused... Each pin um, is sighted for a given distance. I caused Here, ecological problems, and is um, set for 10 yards. they put me in the jail. The second pin for 20, the third is set for 30, and the bottom pin for 40. Simply estimate the range, center the T-dot pin in the peep as you see it, put the T-dot where you want the arrow to hit, and release the string. Except that doesn't work. There are many ways to earn your welcome to hunt on private land. Ask what well the before fuck? the season and offer to help the landowner. It will pay big dividends in being able to hunt on private huh? land. Read these four rules. If you decide to I'm shoot or them. hunt, live by these rules and you will never injure anyone. I'm never going to injure anybody. You are by the way, I figured out that you get the badge by going to the second this game. thing. To take the class in real life, call your state or provincial conservation department for information. So what do I need? A call? Here's your a gun? Token. Ammo? safe. I guess I have to keep watching shit. Hunting can take you to some of the most beautiful and rugged country in the world. You must be prepared. Have a map, compass, and global positioning system from Magellan and know how to use them. It could save your life. Okay. The Magellan GPS can give you the confidence you need to find your phone. way around in the wilderness if you practice with it and know how it I works. I can't believe Skinny Jim didn't warn you the consequences. I think no. Yeah, you're right. He Hi. should have told me. I'm Jenny Cool. Here to tell Hi, you Jenny about cool. some cool high-tech equipment. A good satellite navigator, such as one of these Magellan GPS. I didn't realize that all of the areas I was unlocking were all in zone one, and I was um. Let's see. My bag limit was one, and I shot four turkeys. Is a lot more than one. When hunting, be sure to make a comfortable base camp. Locate the camp with your Magellan GPS and save it as your primary landmark on the hunt. I'm just gonna like, oh wait, no, I got my fitness shit. Okay, safe. Good luck. And keep Fox. it safe and legal. Um. Gun. That. Ammo. That. Uh. Game call. That. 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 Uh. I guess I need that. Uh. License. Turkey. Don't need a dog. Um, I need a gun or a knife. I don't want a scope. Um, clothing. I need a boot and a jacket. 
I think I'm fine. Have a great hunt and be safe. No one's gonna fucking accost me, so. So, 6.45. Bag limit. To hunt turkeys, you need to be well camouflaged. I like the real tree camouflage patterns best. Fucking sell out. Thanks for including me in the hunting partners. You Ducks Unlimited. I mean, you don't know how the robbery went down. Fair enough. Take the time to teach others who are interested in hunting and shooting to do it safely and to do it right. To make the game last forever, we need to get young uh, boys and girls involved in the sport. Uh, this kind of looks like a, a military training camp. Not gonna lie. Uh, clothing. Cold weather. Have a great hunt and be safe. Cool. Can't speak the game lasts forever in her own way. Yeah, by <laughs> gaming over. Firearms, fun for all ages. There is an importance to, like, teaching people how to do this responsibly and safely and all of that, and sharing the traditions of providing for your family and that stuff. That's fine. Um, but that looked kind of weird. <laughs> Turkey, turkey, turkey. I get one. What if they had, like, and now you can hunt bears? I just thought encouraging someone who got a game over screen to get young children into <laughs> In my defense, my dad sucked at this game too. Wow. I did it. Now we're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna go to the lodge and go to the kitchen. Look, it's recipes. I remember printing this out on like a dot matrix printer. Um, wild game pepper stir fry. It is superb. It works equally well with fowl or venison. One cup game meat diced into strips. That's not how dicing works or bright sized chunks. One cup equals one serving. Three strips celery. <laughs> oh, yum, celery stir fry. Three strips celery per serving and cut diagonal into bite-sized pieces. One half green pepper per serving. Just say how many you want to serve. You can put a yield. You can put serves four. Who makes stir fry for one person? One half green pepper. Third onion diced into pieces. Who uses a third of an onion? You can substitute leeks if you if you're feeling bougie. Brings up memories of my mom thinking turkey would work anywhere chicken work. No. One to one and a half tablespoon tea yeah, tablespoons of lock oil. A teaspoon of sesame oil. Optional if you can fucking find it. One cup of chicken or beef broth, depending on game meat, i.e. fowl and rabbit use chicken broth. Venison is beef broth. There are 12. Oh, I only get these two. Uh, I see the rest. Oh. Oh, God. 
What the fuck is wok oil? I don't know. You use it in a wok? Like, I'm assuming it'd just be like vegetable oil. Single people make food for one missing game. Okay. Maidens, when you make yourself dinner, are you cutting a pepper in half? Are you cutting an onion in thirds? Just make the whole thing and then have leftovers. Like, yeah, I know people, single people make food for one person, but recipes shouldn't be written like this. <laughs> Let's look at the roast. One turkey, bacon strips, a can of chicken broth, and salt and pepper. Clean and wash bird, cut into fillet strips, what? and place in roasting pan. Cover with chicken broth, bacon strips, and that doesn't, okay. So you take the chicken or the turkey. And you, I don't know what cut in a fillet strips means, but you're putting it in the pan. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing with this turkey. You're putting it in the roasting pan. You're covering it with chicken broth. And a turkey is a pretty big bird, right? Like a turkey is massive. Like you can get like 12 pound turkeys. You're covering that with chicken broth. You're drowning it in chicken broth. Then you're covering it with bacon strips. How? Wrapping it around the... I need a picture. This is saturated with 90s recipe love. I don't know what the fuck this looks like. Cover and bake for four hours at 300 degrees. We're not even going to cover what the proper internal temperature of a turkey should be. If you don't want a horrible disease. Just do what Granny says. It's fine. You were intended to use these. You can print them. The farther you go in the hunting game, the more soup is the seasoning, right? No, that was broth. I hope you go hunting again soon. I need some more meat for the freezer. See, that just makes it sound like she kills people. Uh. So by dropping them off, does that mean I don't have them anymore and I can shoot again? Because my game bag was empty for all of those. Razor's looking mighty empty. Oh, the issue was not that I shot four turkeys. The issue was that in that one area, I shot two. I see. Well, I also know that I can't, I don't have to spare the hens anymore. It would also be cool if I got like paid for the meat, I'm just saying. Like I'm doing a, a thing here, I'm providing a service. And I'd rather not be paid in like, fucking shitty super like shit i'm imagining like i'm still picturing this turkey in the roasting pan with like bacon strips lovingly draped over it and like <laughs> crisping up while the chicken cooks at like for four hours <laughs> and falling off and then you have to fish the bacon out of the the chicken broth Here, turkey. Here, boy. <laughs> Yippee!
<gasps> Turkey chili. Oh, this looks like an actual recipe. <laughs> Two cups chopped onion, quarter cup olive oil, tomato puree, cumin, hot red pepper flakes, cinnamon. I don't know about the hot red pepper flakes. That seems a little Italian. Cinnamon, okay. This seems like pasta sauce. Black pepper, oregano, salt, bell peppers, kidney beans. The only thing that about this that says chili is the kidney beans. The rest of this reads bolognese. I guess the cumin also. All right, lady. The farther you go in the hunting game, the more recipes I can give you. I hope you go hunting again soon. I need Will they be some better? more meat for the freezer. So, as the evening draws to a close, do you want to see what happens if you accrue fines that you can't pay? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll hunt a few more turkeys. But <laughs> there was a part of this game that scared the shit out of me as a kid. Like, when I say that, I mean, I'm like... Maybe seven? Six or seven? Well, it's a little too late. I'll, I'll shoot a turkey, but... I don't know what Jim is about to say. But you can obviously, you know, like, break the rules. Like it says here, I, I went over bag limit before, but you, there are shooting hours. So I would have to wait until we're out of shooting hours, so I waited too long to give my spiel. And I'm not quite tired yet, but I can throw it all away. What's going on on Twitter? Oh, I can't click out. I'll check my phone. Oh, I got a retweet. Package is in transit. Yippee. Call some more turkeys. <laughs> Got him. Grandma, you got me any more turkey recipe? Sweet wild turkey breast. Let's see. What the fuck is this? R brown rice vinegar, molasses, turkey breast in one inch cubes? Four to six pounds of turkey breast in one inch cubes? Two grated onions, ginger, lemon juice, white grape juice, dried apricots, slivered, sage. Okay, I can kind of imagine this flavor profile. This is green. Add turkey cubes. Toss it to coat turkey with marinade. Refrigerate overnight. Drain turkey, saving marinade. Oh, you're going to save that salmonella juice? Add oil to a heavy nonstick skillet. Brown a few turkey cubes and the garlic at a time. If you crowd the pan, the meat will steam, not brown. Put brown turkey in large casserole. Fine, saved, marinade, white grape juice, water, lemon juice, and grated ginger. Pour over turkey. Stir in apricot slivers and cover. Where'd the onion go? There, were, uh, there was a mention of onions. 
Oh, it's up right here. Okay, that seems mildly horrific. The farther you go in the hunting game, the more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We will see the scary thing. I just really want to kind of see what Area 2 is. I'm hooked now. <laughs> they weren't kidding when they said sweet. Yeah, there's molasses in that shit. I don't like molasses. I really don't. It's gross. It stinks. I still have this picture of a French dip on my screen. You're lucky I can't click out of this game because I would put it back on the screen. Oh, okay, it's turkey time. Turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> Come here, turkey! Okay. <laughs> Blazed boysenberry orange wild turkey breast. One boneless fresh wild turkey breast. One and a half cups of orange juice, dry thyme leaves, salt to taste, which means none. Ground sage, black pepper to taste, which means none. Two cups of boysenberry jelly. I guess you could find that. And some sugar. These recipes are just word salad. No, I mean, in a baking pan. Orange juice over turkey. Ew, wait, you're just, you're just... You're braising it in orange juice. In my mind, I was thinking, like, I've made a chicken breast before in, like, a skillet. The farther you go in the hunting game, the more recipe. And I made an apricot sauce to go on top of it. Listen to this music! We're going to Gobbler Pass. Now I have to get a Tom here. And we start at 5, so I can't start until 5.45. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Emily. I shall take a sip of my bubbly. That made me look sad. I've ever made it to zone two. Like, my dad and I would find this game extremely frustrating. <laughs> and I don't even remember seeing the deer models before. I think all we ever did was um turkey and waterfowl sometimes. Oh. That's a hen. so far away. <laughs> well, now it's not, but it's still a hen. I can't touch it. Hello, turkey tom. One tom only. Off we go. Seven 
Southwest Grilled Wild Turkey. One boned turkey breast skin, pepper, salt, lemon juice, tomatoes, cilantro, jalapeno pepper. Ooh, spicy. And red wine vinegar, which I don't really associate with this kind of recipe. Okay. Place turkey between two sheets of heavy duty plastic wrap and flatten to one half inch thickness using a meat mallet or rolling pin. Make several one quarter inch deep diagonal cuts on one side of turkey in a diamond pattern. That's not how you get grill marks, Grandma. You, you make the... Oh, it's for marinade. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Grandma's gotta go to the home. The farther you go in the hunt. Turkey Swamp Edge. Oh, wow. Helps to get them like out before the sun comes all the way up, you know? I saw it, Tom, but he disappeared. <laughs> Here you go. Roast wild turkey with apples. That makes sense. Then a 12 pound turkey, garlic, apple, sage. These all go together. Rosemary, thyme, celery. We can leave that out because celery sucks. Onion, butter. Celery is nice and crunchy and is good to put peanut butter on, but that's about it. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> Oh, I pretty hate having a for Cold water. Pack dry with paper towels. Your fingers gently pull skin away from breast meat, starting at- Oh, this- you put the butter in there. In the- in the skin. I did that for Thanksgiving one year. Uh, salt turkey inside and out. Loosely stuff the turkey's body and neck cavity with a vegetable herb mixture. Some celery is pun- celery is just chewy water. <laughs> You know, now that I think about it, I have had some potent celery. That sounds stupid to say, but like sometimes it's got an edge. A taste that lingers on your palate. Um. Mm, gravy. Cool. The farther you go in. I actually remember that turkey chili recipe from, well, playing this game as a child. I was so proud. I unlocked the turkey chili recipe and printed it out for my mommy. She never made it. Probably because she realized it was just pasta sauce with cumin in it. And a jalapeno. 
Oh, no, wait, that was in the southwest Turkey. Recipe. Anticipation. <laughs> it's it helps to use the call occasionally so you can get their attention. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I was just about to do that. <laughs> Set the turkey diaphragm is good for Tom's. You're a girl. Get out of here. Hello. I'm just going to continue on to Acorn Hall. <gasps> All hunting units have been posted. Landowner and hunter relationships are a delicate yet important thing. You should have visited the Heritage Room and learn about landowner relationships so you could have prevented this from happening. I didn't even do anything that time! You... I didn't even do anything. I know what to do Good to earn a dollar or like five dollars. I'm gonna show you the scary thing and then we're gonna go. Dude, hey, my sad man, face is getting a real here. workout this stream. Uh, I Christmas. had to redo all of my parameters this morning. When you hunt, you so walk a lot, right? It's recalibrated, hills, so it works. Time in colder weather. Well, if you exercise and you're in good physical shape, you'll be able to do all those things a whole lot better. Blah, blah, blah. blah. I'm fat. Shape, you may end up being rescued by the sheriff. Both here and, I mean, in real life, too. In the game, you should come here regularly. In real life, keeping fit should be a lifetime goal. Yeah, okay. I don't like you. Read these four rules. Okay. If you decide to shoot or hunt, live by these rules and you will never injure anyone. You are required to take hunter education before so you play this game. Ammo. To take the class in real life, call your state or provincial conservation uh, department for and a license. Here's your hunter ed token. Thank you. Two common sighting systems. Oh, that's too not long. I'm not gonna listen to that. Um. Hunting can take you to some of the most beautiful and rugged country in the world. You must be prepared. Have a map, compass, and yeah, global positioning system. Oh, I need a safe to keep. Like, and so I know how even, like, to use get them. To it could save your dollars. life. The Magellan GPS can give you the confidence you need to find your way around in the wilderness if you practice with it and know how it works. I wonder if Magellan is still in business. Game animals are often found on private land. Ask permission before hunting and respect the landowner's wishes whether he tells you it's okay to hunt or not. Magellan GPS. Oh, yep, they're still selling those bad boys.
Hello there. I'm oh, Jay no, I'm Archer here. Talk. There are many ways to earn your welcome to hunt on private land. Yeah, see, I had to listen well to this whole the unit and offer to, to keep the land that last thing from happening to it me, which is some fucking bullshit. In being able to hunt on private land. Then why? I beg you, why? I want to know. Why was I allowed to do it? Have a great hunt. Oops, no, I meant, um, that. Safe. Ammo. Uh, what else do I get? License. I guess I don't need Have a license. And be safe. I'm gonna show you what happens when you super fuck up. So, you remember I can't start shooting until 6.45? I I brought my Loman turkey calls. What if I, uh, did? Relo to hunt turkeys, you need to be well- Oh, what if I loaded my gun first? Coming before too long. And then I did. And I did some more. I did a third time. Yeah, that's probably enough. You were shooting a little early this morning, weren't you? No. Your fine is ten bucks. Oh, I don't have that many! Can't pay the fine? You lose all your equipment and start over. Oh! Maybe you soon realize that it's easier to obey the law. Oh! Piggy! This, this screen used to scare the shit out of me. He's crying! Did you see he was crying? The piggy? He was crying! And also he went to jail. That's pretty scary too. I'm sick of this. These are all the people you can blame. I can't believe that piggy is dead. No, it's because he, he's crying. This game rips you to shreds. There is no need for this game to be that difficult. Voice talent. In quotes. Yeah, if you mess up, it's over. Your game. Recipes provided in part by what appears to be the entire Curtis family. And <laughs> Snelson. 1997. I learned my lesson, cattle never learned to hunt. That's the spirit. Anyway, where's my happy music? There. Thanks for coming. That was an experience, and I didn't expect it to be such a slug. I thought that as a 29-year-old adult, I would- <laughs> Sorry, Meg. It's okay. There's a whole VOD for you to watch of me not hunting well. Um, and getting my gun stolen, and going to jail, and all sorts of fun stuff. I'm glad you guys like this segment. It's fun. I like doing it every month. Um, at some point, I'm gonna run out of games that I grew up with, so, um, I'll have to add to my repertoire, and then we can discover them together, as opposed to me showing, like, taking you on a tour through a game that I played as a kid. But that'll be, like, a while away. That's why I'm keeping them, like, one a month, so that I can keep my reserves strong. Um... But yeah, let's go raid somebody. Let's go torture somebody else. Um...
Um, looks like Sophie's streaming old school RuneScape again. So I'm gonna send you her direction. Uh, I know she's doing like an Iron Woman run. I don't know what that is, but I think it's an achievement in RuneScape that... I know she posted the Slayer picture. So, we'll raid and the raid phrase will be Slayer. So, you know what that is? Oh, cool. I played RuneScape once when I was in middle school. <laughs> but, yeah. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye!